Do you yes. see anything? Yes. I see some guy coming out of the water shaking his head and... Oh, that's perfect! Alright, uh, let's just Only see... Only the resolution is not that great, but it's okay. Okay. Uh, I could, for, for, for things like this, I could just lower the resolution so it would be more easy for you. Uh, what if you go down and start my Adobe camera or something? Let's see if that works. Yeah. Well, let's see. Um, Woohoo! Not much <laughs> okay, I start. Uh, I tried to move something, but yeah. it didn't work. Uh, yeah, start no, it's at a bridge, okay. I see. The problem is we're both on 24 inch trying to. Uh, yeah. And remember, this is a 3G connection on this side. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, I see it popping up now. Yeah. So if I, I, if I, for example, let's see here. If I open a picture, if you don't touch an now, if I hey, just... I'm, I'm, away, I'm away with my pen now. Yeah, good. good. Uh, wait, 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 why? This picture can't be opened. No, it can't be modified, it said. Ah. Oh, uh -huh, it has to start Photoshop, okay. Yeah. So how are you today? Uh, they're tired, but... Uh, Nah, pretty pretty well. Huh. Doing nice. all kind of shies work, those little shizes, small alterations on very uninteresting graphic design stuff. Okay. So if um for example, do you see the picture now? Yes. Okay. Uh, I see Ange Angela Lee coming online. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, or Yusuf, it's uh, really up to you, right? <laughs> so what if you try to make oh, some adjustments okay. now? Is it possible possible for you to make adjustments now? Uh, let's see. I want to see if it's too jumpy or if it's... Uh... That's actually happening. It is relatively jumping. Okay, I mean, so if you tell really me, for example, if you say that, are you raised up the black one or... I just everybody... uh, lower, lower the blacks to one. Yeah. yeah, it's one now. Yeah. Now I tried clicking the highlights and the dark ones. Yeah, the there is a, they're showing clipping now. Yeah, highlights also already or not? Because it's not giving me here. Yeah, now it is. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just didn't click hard enough. Okay. You know how I often start? Yeah, brightness. With this, nay, I, I always start with exposure actually. Okay. I set the brightness to zero, set the contrast to zero, and then start going on with the with the exposure. Ah, so contrast to zero too. Yeah, contrast to zero too. All right. So actually, it's a really zero setting. And then you can control actually much much more because you will see that actually the colors are totally different then Yeah, because actually the brightness does a lot in regard and the contrast does a lot in regard to colors actually Yeah It does look much better when the brightness is not too too bright. It looks yeah. pretty horrible Yeah, I agree and okay, so you have the brightness, contrast is down to zero now. So you press the yeah. tab, it doesn't look like yeah. anything changed. And now I, I see it. Yeah. And uh, what I usually try to do, if the, not with every picture it works, what I try to do is first of all set actually the, the white point by sliding the exposure so far down that actually there's no, as pos if possible, there's no clipping. Although I try to go not much further than like minus one. So you do exposure minus one? Yeah, I, or I just, not maybe in this case? Or yeah, I'm just look this? Look, looking at what happens at the screen. You know, I look at when the, when the clipping is gone. I yeah, try to okay. get the clipping okay. gone. So now the clipping is gone? The clipping is gone, right? You see also now that there's actually, there's quite a lot of detail in the sky. Yeah, it's very nice. 
this actually would and there from there on then I set the blacks where I want to clip actually this one or maybe two would actually be nice I just try to have most of the time just a little bit of the blue showing yeah. and from there on I make actually how bright do I want the picture to be in this case I think it goes somewhere like around 40 I suppose yeah, it looks pretty good. And 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 setting the contrast so i can at that point have actually more or less the picture like how i would want it and only from there i start using things like fill light recovery i would in this case probably bump up the exposure a little bit because there is really a big difference between foreground and big background do you have a use the um, curve tool the curve tool um Depends more actually the curve tool on if I want to have a specific feeling or not. Um, if I want to have like a nice and soft picture, yeah. like a uh, very smooth gradient going, I like to use actually a setting more or less like this, especially where there's quite some dynamic range. Mm. I pick up like something like there. Um, slide that one down. Mm -hmm. And then using the shadows to give a little bit of that punch to the blacks. Yeah. That looks pretty good now. So actually, I kind of like the shot already. Okay. It's not. Right. Yeah, but you did something about the sharpening. What was your suggestion? Sharpening. Here? Yeah. Um, I suggest when using sharpening within ACR, yeah. I would suggest yeah. indeed going to. I have it always on point six. Um, sharpening around forty and detail around fifty. So that in is, our, uh, in ACR, do you do any sharpening at all? If I do it, if okay, I do, that's, that's do actually it. more more said. It's I do it in in um, in Lightroom ACR. When I use ACR, actually, I really like to sharpen the picture itself in um, uh, in Nick Sharpener. Yeah, I find the 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 result actually in the end better. So sharpening, I would say, like somewhere there, 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 yeah. Yeah. maybe even higher. Then the sharpening is um, is pretty okay. It doesn't uh, doesn't mess up the bouquet too much. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. And I would give in this case like a little bit of fill light, probably, but not too much. But I try to keep off the recovery slider as much as possible because I find it flattens it, it flattens the pop of the picture actually. Mm. Yeah, that's true. And um, so I try to first find the right setting using the exposure to set actually the white point mm -hmm. and 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 the black point afterwards with the blacks and from there on I try to find the right brightness and contrast sure. for the picture itself. It's pretty good white I mean, balance right now, I think, on this picture. Yes, now the white balance looks also very nice. His yeah. skin tones look very decent, very, very, like, yeah, actually yeah. very much like it probably was. Yeah. Uh, this is now recorded, Bob. Um, yeah. Uh, do you mind if I put this no, on? No, I don't. No, I don't mind. I all. think it was a perfect little show. <laughs> very quick <laughs> and uh, simplified. Yes. Thank you so much for showing me. You're welcome, yes. always, you know. All right. Um, now click somewhere where you can shut it off. Yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to do that. It's up here. Stop recording here.